using the Vibram Five Finger KSO Evo cross training shoe to play basketball. So there's going to be three aspects to this video, but first I would just say uh, the long and the short of it is do not, these shoes are, do not withstand the, they're not made for playing basketball. So I, I, I would recommend to not use them for playing basketball unless you want to run through a pair every couple months. And I'm going to cover three aspects to this. The first aspect is going to be the, the quote-unquote problems that people might think like how is it for ankle support? How is it for, you know, do people step on your foot? Um, thing, things like that nature. And then the second part is going to be the, like, the wear and tear on the actual shoe, right? And then the third part will be the psychological aspect, like what will people think about me? So let's get right into it. First of all, I've had no ankle issues. I've had these for over two years and I've also had the Vivo Barefoot shoes and they, they have this three millimeter insole that I use mm, probably 70% of the time. Uh, and I've had these for 11 months. So I haven't used a, like, a regular normal shoe for almost, yeah, almost 11 months. So, and I used to have uh, a, a foot that was completely flat like if it was a if I was at a pool and I stepped out onto the concrete it would leave a flat a flat like a complete footprint since I've been using barefoot products and minimalist shoes I have like I now have an arch <laughs> like when I step out of the pool onto the concrete there is it's not a complete footprint. It is a, like, it's, it's got an arch to it, right? Uh, and I've also been using this. So that's just to get an, you, give you an idea of where I'm at in my barefoot journey. Because if you're just starting out, you're, you might not have the like all of the, you know, those little micro adaptations in the foot muscles and tendons and, and legs that playing basketball in Vibram Five Fingers could require, right? But like I said, I've had these for over two years. The Vivo Barefoots for over 11 months that I've been using Barefoot products. And I could say that Using these to play basketball, as far as injuries go, I have no issues with ankle support. And in the past, when I'd use regular basketball shoes, I would probably tweak my ankle about once a game. And by tweak, I mean like just a slight, a slight twist, like something where I could hobble hobble it off after you know probably 20 seconds and then I could continue playing but it was still had a little bit of a weakness to it right I would still be cautious with it and I can say that using these I haven't had that I've not had one of those ankle tweaks what I do have though is sometimes this the big toe will kind of 
it, it extends a little bit more. It extends a little bit more, right, that little bit, than the next toe, and sometimes it'll catch just this one on the ground or whatnot, and then it'll kind of tweak my toe. Um, but I can, because I have the ability to, you know, I can perceive that, right? I can feel that. I usually have the ability to, like it hasn't caused any problems as much as an ankle tweak would with a normal basketball shoe would. So that's another plus for these. Um, now another thing is that do people step on your foot? And I mean, not really. And I'm a kind of player who's, I'm a slasher, small forward. I also guard big guys in the paint. Mm. Give you an idea, I'm about six foot one. I think that's about 187 centimeters. And I probably weigh 180 pounds, which is, let me check. About 81.5 kilo. And uh, so very slim, lean athlete. And like I said, I can shoot the, I can shoot from outside, but I prefer to slash, drive, and I'm very active on defense as well. Always going for steals uh, in transition. Just to give you an idea, I in my senior of basketball, I started on my team playing competitively, and I I won Mr. Defense. Like my team voted me as Mr. Defense, and that's not to brag. It's just to just to show you, like demonstrate like, how active I am on the court. Like if if you're just shooting threes and not really driving and defense, you don't really care for defense. Then these might be good enough for you. Like they might work. Um. Or if you're a big guy and you're not really moving around a lot, they these also might be good. Now, the, you might think, oh, people might step on your feet. I mean, how often does somebody step on your foot in basketball? Usually it doesn't happen because, first of all, most people are pretty cautious subconsciously that, hey, if I step on somebody's foot, the ankle's gonna twist, right? So I haven't really had a problem with that. I, I don't think any, may, maybe once or twice someone is, I, 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 it hasn't been a big deal for me, somebody stepping on my foot. Like I haven't even registered it as an event. Like I said, the, the big problem is the toe bending, which maybe happens once every, two hours of playing. Um, another thing that happens is right here, right here is the inside bottom part of the toe will get a little bit raw for me. So it's, it's not a blister, but it just it gets raw, like it's sensitive after playing for for two hours. That, that's about how long I play, two to three hours. Of, two hours of court time. I'm usually at the gym for three hours. And I'm playing outside most of the time. Not on a concrete, but like it it's, has a certain type of like rubber material on top or grip material, I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, it's, it's not like a soft rubber, it's just something to give it some texture. Um, now, so like I said, ankle 
no, no problems with ankles, no problems with people stepping on my feet. Uh, the actual problems are my toe sometimes, the big toe sometimes catches, and the inside of my toe will get a little bit raw. But then, like I played yesterday, and it's still a little bit raw, but you know, in a couple days, it'll, it's okay. Like, it's not something that bothers me, it's just there. So now, what does it do to the shoe? That, that's probably the, that is easily the worst part, because I've had these things for well over two years, used, walked around the city, um, ride bicycle, bicycle in them, go do weight training with them all kind I think I've done some hiking with them as well yeah I've done a little bit of hiking nothing extreme but just like walking around in nature I would call it and since I've started playing basketball with these things this has happened since yesterday when I last played and like the wear and tear is just it's it's getting bad I, I mean it's just not lasting it's not made for that uh right here you might be able to see starting to peel there it's hard to show in this video um so yeah, this thing right here, this seam has completely ripped off. Um, perhaps right here, this is getting a little bit worn out where the ball of the foot is taking impact and using to press off and, and uh, accelerate and, and stop. As well as the, the heel which I, I have a tendency to lean back on my heels. I know in basketball it's different, but when I'm walking, I have a tendency to lean back. So that could be one of the problems why it's wearing out here. And then the toes a little bit are, are wearing so the grip material. That's just on one of the shoes. Here's the other shoe where there's a complete hole in, and I don't think that was there before. I think that was, like I said, where the toe is catching. And you can actually see th there's a hole where, where that toe is probably catching. And the material is also separating there's on the the what would you call it? not the big toe but the next toe the material is also wearing away um so like i said overall these things are not made for the wear and tear of basketball for me as a slasher is not like uh, I'm going to be looking for another pair of minimalist or barefoot shoes to wear for playing basketball because these aren't made for it, but the benefits are so high of playing in barefoot shoes. Um, so I've just to give you an idea, I've probably played on six different days over the span of three to five, three to four weeks for a total of 10 to 15 hours of court time. And like I said, all of this, these, these things, this, this thing right here, all of that have happened in that 10 to 15 hours of court time. So these things are definitely not made for playing basketball. The durability is not made for playing basketball. But the 
but as physically they are. Like, man, I feel like I'm like Spider Man. I can just grip that ground. Um, so that's parts one and two. Part one was the the injuries. Like I said, not really. Part two is the like the durability. And part three is the psychological. Every single time somebody has asked me, like, what is it like playing in, in the shoes? And they have the same questions, doubts, whatever that you might have. Is like, do you twist your ankle? When do people step on your shoe? Da 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 da. Right? So whatever questions, doubts that you had before this video. That's what people are going to ask you. And most people are just curious about it because they've probably never seen these shoes before. And they definitely probably haven't seen somebody playing basketball in them. And I've, I've already worn these to the gym. Of course, there's going to be lookers. People are going to... Eh. We're in these around the city, so for me, playing basketball in them, like, I, I don't care if people comment or look. It, it doesn't bother me. Like, the first couple times, of course, it's, it's like, oh, are people looking at me? But then, you know, it becomes, it's normal. Like I said, most people are just curious. They, they've never seen these things before. And they're probably wondering like, oh, d does that guy know something that I don't know? Right? Do, do these shoes give him some advantage? Or like, where did he get those shoes? And the, now the only people that are going to like, oh, look at those shoes. Right? The only time you would get that kind of attitude from somebody or people talking, whispering about it, is, is usually the people that have a little bit of jealousy, right? They, you, you might be, if you're wearing them at the gym, you might be lifting more weight than the other guy or performing at a higher level, like on the basketball court. I'm, I'm, I would say I'm usually in the top, you know, I'm in the top tier of players playing locally pickup games. And I've heard some people talk while I'm playing, people on the sidelines watching, I, other players watching on the sidelines, I hear them talking about me as far as like these shoes that I'm wearing. But like I said, it's just, you know, they maybe they're jealous or they see that I'm having success and, you know, haters are a good signal that you're succeeding. So instead of resenting haters, just take it as a good thing, a, a good sign. So that's... That's pretty much it. Like I said, people come up to me and they ask me, like, what is it like playing these things? Do you get it? Same questions that or doubts that you might have. And that's pretty much it. Like, like I said earlier, the long the summary is these things aren't made for playing basketball because of the durability factor. If if they would last longer than 10, 15 hours, like I would wear them to every single game because the few downsides of the raw toe and just very occasionally that this toe bending those few downsides are like far outweigh the previous downsides of you know, jumping off of a soft sole that was like you know, 
a regular shoe has like a basketball shoe has like this much soft of a sole between my foot and the ground. So I'm jumping off of a soft surface. And regular shoe, like I just I feel like I don't have the first of all the perception of where's my foot at as well as the like I feel like I'm standing on an unstable just I'm stand my, my stance is unstable since, since I've been wearing barefoot anytime I go and put on regular shoes like I said I feel like my 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 balance is wavery and the, these things just give me a foundation where Okay, if I'm on the ground, like I know where I'm at. Right? Maybe that sounds a little bit weird, but when I say I know where I'm at, it means like to like uh, what's like a higher level of awareness, perception. And moving side to side as a slasher, the durability is, like I said, wearing out. But these things are so much, they're light. Right? Like a lot of basketball shoes are, they got so much shit. They're just plastic and like that extra soft foam material. Like these things are light. Like I'm just basically feathers wearing feathers on my feet and uh, or not wearing feathers on my feet but they're feather light plus uh, especially as a slasher I feel like I'm more quick and nimble because my foot is on the ground I'm pushing my foot isn't pushing off of foam which is then pushing off the ground my foot is pushing off of two millimeters of rubber which is pushing off the ground instead of an inch of plastic and foam which is then pushing off the ground my foot is pushing off of two millimeters of rubber hard rubber right this i mean this stuff is tough so, like, in summary, long-term durability, not worth it. Um, if I had somebody, if these things were free and I was somebody sponsored me to play in them, shit, I would use these every single game forever. Mm. I haven't played tennis in them, so don't know anything about that. But that's all, that's all I got for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you, yeah, that's about it. Um, I guess a few more things about my, my feet would be that I, I used to have, I used to go to the orthopedic, I think that's what it's called the foot doctor and they would make me some special inserts for my feet they would they would actually put like this putty to make a mold of my foot and then from that they would make some insert So that's, that's kind of the level of foot issues that I've had. But like I said, using flat foot for almost, well, these for two years and then Vivo barefoot for 11 months. Man, I got an arch. And uh, this massage ball I've had for 
over a year and a half or so. So I use this when I'm sitting down at a desk. And I use it on my foot, right? I just rub it on my foot like that. Sometimes soft, sometimes a little bit harder. And it helps out a lot. So that's my review using the Vibram Five Finger. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the model. I put it in the description. Using the Vibram Five Fingers to play basketball. Don't do it unless you got them for free.